Hey guys, it is Monday, September 21st. Hope you guys all had a terrific weekend. I sold 20 eBay things over the weekend, so we've got some orders to pack. Let's get to work. First things right here, this is a 1954 University of Dayton yearbook. Got this at a garage sale for $2. Had it listed for like 30 bucks for best offer. Someone said best offer of $22 plus shipping and I accepted. I went ahead and already pulled this from my storage unit. All right, next is in C1. Let's bring this over here. It is a hat. Actually, I think I sold a couple things out of here. Uh, first thing we're pulling is this Pittsburgh Penguins hat. I got this at a garage sale probably a month ago. I've got $2 into it. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. This is going on to a named Chris. Chris, thank you for the support. Really hope you like this hat. Okay, I also sold this um, Ford model kit, uh, new in the packaging. Packaging was a little rough, as you can see, so I made sure I took pictures of that and pointed it out. If it was mint, it might have sold for a little bit more. Um, I got this up in Fort Wayne, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, the last thing we're pulling out of here is this Bengals hat. I picked this up two weekends ago for a dollar at a garage sale. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing we're pulling is this Babolat tennis racket that I got last weekend at a garage sale for um, $15. The grip was pretty worn, as you can see, and sometimes with grips I replace them, sometimes I don't. Uh, to buy a new tennis grip is about 5 bucks. And it takes about 10 minutes to do it. And I just didn't think it would add a ton of value. And a lot of times with higher end rackets like this, the, the buyer wants to put their own racket, their own grip on it anyway. So I just sold it as is. I pointed out that the grip was worn and needed replaced. And it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is an F2. It is a PC game. The Magic Candle 3. Oh, the graphics kind of look like Dungeons & Dragons, even though this is in the D&D &D game. I got this also in Fort Wayne with that big lot of stuff. So I've got about a couple dollars into it. It's sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And next thing we're pulling is right next to it. It's this football helmet. Let's see if I can wiggle this thing out of here. I got this at a garage sale about three weeks ago for $5. It's a local team, the Mason Comets. I was missing an ear pad. But usually with these older helmets, um, it's going to collectors. You know, somebody likes to collect these for different high schools or they're going to take the decals off and put, you know, their own decals on there. It's, uh, it's rarely actually getting used as a football helmet. Uh, but keep an eye out for these because they do sell well. They sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing we're pulling is in B1. I actually had two of these and they both sold. These are brand new Smith & Wesson knives. Got them in... Fort Wayne with that big lot of stuff. Each one of these sold for $17.99 free shipping. One of these is going out to your name, Zach. Zach, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next is in B5. It is a cordless phone. Let's see. I think I had like two different sets of these. Yeah, each one has a base. Okay, so I saw the phone, the base, and the uh, charger for $16.99 plus shipping. And now that I'm looking at the picture, I think it's actually this bigger base that I sold. Yeah, I want to make sure I ship out the right one. Uh, I think we're done with B5, so I will put that back. And we'll see what we're pulling next. It is the Walking Dead McFarlane toy set. Uh, Dale's RV. I want to say it's right here. Yeah. Got a few dollars into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a... DVD VCR combo. It's a Samsung, I believe. It is this one right here. Yep, that's it. Let me move this out of the way. I got this, um, I think it was Thursday or Friday, just a few days ago. Uh, paid $6 for it. Didn't have the remote, but it still worked perfectly. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is a Barry Sanders pint glass. So, once again, Santa's going to have to come down. I'm going to set the camera down while I pull this. I got too much stuff in here, guys. I have sold quite a few of these, and I've still got five or six left. Only got about a quarter into each one. This sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Next is the Rick and Morty spaceship and garage toy this sold for $14.99 plus shipping all right just a few things left to pack uh next is in b3 
This is a John Grisham sealed audiobook. I picked up at a garage sale for two dollars. It sold for twelve ninety nine. Free shipping. Uh, next is in B one. I guess I could have pulled this earlier because I was in here earlier. It is a Walking Dead figure. It's Beth. I got a couple of them in here, so I want to make sure I pull the right one. That is it right there. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in C5. It is this Scentsy Warmer. I got it at a garage sale two weeks ago. I paid $10 for it. It's new in the box. And since it's the skull, it's kind of like a Halloween theme. It's a good time of year to be selling it since Halloween is just a month away. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay, I sold another VCR. It's a Panasonic. I believe it is this one right here. You know what? I sold this board game too, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the way. Uh, this is a Harry Potter Magical Beasts board game. New in the plastic. I got this two weeks ago at a garage sale for $5, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, back to the VCR. It is this Panasonic right here. So I'm going to have to move some stuff out of the way to get this thing. This is a big turkey platter that hopefully will sell before Thanksgiving. Okay, let's see if I can get this out of here. Well, maybe not. All right, we're setting the camera down. All right, this is a top loader uh, VCR. They seem to have some okay value. Uh, my friend just gave this to me. <laughs> he buys and sells too, and he didn't want to mess with uh, big VCRs anymore. So he had a handful of them that he gave to me for free. So thank you, Greg. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling is down here in A5. It is a Michigan State Spartans pullover. I got this quite a long time ago at a garage sale, maybe like nine months, a year ago, something like that. I've only got a dollar into it. It sold for $12.99 free shipping. I'm sorry, $12.99 plus shipping. And that is going on to a viewer named RJ. RJ, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. It is Tuesday morning. I've got close to 20 eBay orders to ship out. But first, I'm going to answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Robert Allen. I thought you have to ship to the PayPal address. I didn't think we could ship it elsewhere. Also, that might change the shipping cost. So what he's referring to is in my previous video, I talked about a drop shipper that was having me ship it to somebody else besides them. And the way that you can do that and you're not getting in trouble is when the eBay buyer does the whatever, you know, when they buy it and put it in their cart and all that stuff, they put a different address in. But it's a good address when they put it in. So like basically if you try to change the address, it's not going to do it. That's when you lose the, you know, eBay buyer protection or PayPal buyer protection, whichever one, if you're doing managed payments or if you're doing PayPal, but if the buyer changes the address, then you're good. But if you go, if they message you after the fact and say, I need you to ship it to this person instead, change the address. That's when you lose protection. So that might clarify that up a little bit. Um, let's see. I had another one here somewhere. Let me find it for you guys. Okay, next is from Mary Jones. Uh, is your warehouse space a chain? I've been looking for a space like yours. I'm running out of room in my basement, but I need an office area too. Any info would be appreciated. So this is not a chain. It's just a local, uh, you know, local place that's got one spot. My best advice is if you're trying to find like warehouse or office space is to first check Craigslist. Go to their... Uh, real estate and then commercial and then there should be like an office space that you can hit there and it'll let you search within however many miles of a zip code um, I found you know this place on there and I found another place that I had for a number of years on Craigslist um, the other thing that I would say to do is just drive around your town just drive around look for different spots a lot of times they'll have a sign out that says office space available something like that that I think is probably the two best ways to maybe find some office or uh, warehouse space. So good luck to you. All right, let's ship out some eBay orders. I went ahead and pulled these golf clubs. I just listed these yesterday. They sold right away. I paid $7.50 for each at a garage sale. Um, let's see, first is this hybrid right here. It is a Titleist hybrid, 915H. That sold for $27.99 plus shipping. And next is the 915D, I think it's a D3, Titleist Driver. 
This sold for $64.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing's in B1. It is an Army Strong license plate. I've been selling a lot of these. I think I had like 20 or 30 to start with, and I got all of them for like less than a buck. So just pennies into each one of these, and I'm down to like five left. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. All right, coming over here to H4 next. This is actually a bin that I was working in yesterday, and I sold at least two things. Let's see if I can remember. I know I sold this right here. Um, I sold this Lego. And I sold this Wii game. I know that this sold for $22.99 free shipping. Uh, these other two things, I'm going to have to go look at my phone and see what they sold for. All right, the Lego sold for $11.99 free shipping. I got about a dollar into that. And the um, Harry Potter Deathly Hallows uh, CDs... I have a dollar into these. They sold for $14.99 free shipping. Let's go now to viewers Ryan and Chelsea. Thank you both so much for the support. It means a lot. Okay, next thing I'm pulling is in D2. It is a plush doll. Uh, this is actually put out by Delta Airlines in the 80s. This is Dusty the Delta Air Lion. I got this at an estate sale for a couple dollars. Maybe three or four months ago, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's go on a viewer named Henry. Henry, thank you for the business. Really hope you like this. Okay, next we're coming up here to C10. Let's see, it is one of those exotic candy figures that I listed. It is Supergirl. I think it's, is it this one right here? No, that's Captain Marvel. Hmm. I think it's this one right here. There it is, Supergirl. Uh, that sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Your name Keith bought this, who has bought a lot of stuff from me in the past. So, Keith, thank you so much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. All right, next sale is a big one. It is this big turkey fryer up here. Got this at a garage sale last weekend. I've got about $15 into it. It's brand new in the box. And I'm going to ship it just like it is, just in this box, because it is packed really well in there. And I disclosed in the listing that that's how I was going to pack it. So, I'm going to take this up really good. Ship it out as is, get insurance, obviously. Uh, but it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in F6. It is an NES game. Let's see here. There's a couple of them down in here. There it is, RBI Baseball 3 with the manual and dust cover. That sold for $16.99 free shipping. It's going to have to be your name, Ron. Ron, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next order has three things. First is back here, F1. Let's see if I can get back in here to this. First thing is this Walking Dead boiler room. Um, little like block set, sort of like a Lego thing. And let's see, the next is in B1. It is a Walking Dead action figure. That's Dale. And there's one more thing. I think it's in D3. Let's double check here. Yeah, it's in D3. It is Negan and Glenn. That's a pretty cool figure set. Uh, same buyer got all three of these for $38.97 plus shipping. A viewer reached out about those three asking if I would combine shipping if she bought more than one. I said, absolutely. Her name's Jessica. So Jessica, thank you so much for the support. I'll definitely send you a refund for combined shipping on that stuff. All right, next order also has multiple items. First is an A8. It might be this one right here. Yep. Jerry Nadeau, I might be mispronouncing that. Um, that is a NASCAR diecast car. I've got about $5 into that. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer got something in F3. Back in here. It's this Hulk Smash and Crash toy. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to a viewer named Gary. He says, Hi Cincinnati Picker, I watch all your videos. I'm very inspired by you. I love your videos. I think you should have 1 million subscribers. And if you could, I would also love a sticker. Uh, only if you could. I am a reseller as well. I'm only 12 years old. I started around 8 months ago. It's just me and my grandpa driving around at garage sales. And also if you want to check out my eBay, it's the Vintage Wizard. Thank you so much, man. I wish you nothing but the best of luck in reselling, and I really appreciate your support. I'll be happy to throw on some stickers for you. Okay, next thing I'm shipping is right here. It is this Bose Wave Radio System. Got this at a garage sale last weekend. Uh, listed it, and it sold basically right away. It's all the same day. I paid $25 for this, and it sold for $139.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in C1. Let me slide this cart out of the way. 
It is a Swiss gear card case. Got this up in Fort Wayne with all the other stuff that I bought up there. This sold for $11.99, free shipping. Your name Johanna bought this. Johanna, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next thing is way back here. It is this KitchenAid um, accessory kit. Brand new in the packaging. I've got about $10 into this and it sold for $79.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.